so hi guys this is rahul tripathi and uh, today uh, what we are covering is we are con covering the continuous testing architecture and uh, for that uh, these are all the things uh, so this would be shared in the description below or uh, i'll share the link where you can download this document so these are the 10 things which we require to complete a continuous testing architecture and the architecture diagram would be somewhat like this so let's go through this diagram first so what this uh, continuous testing architecture is all about so when we say continuous testing it's an integration of continuous deployment and then automating the testing process the sanity checks so when i say continuous testing architecture it's it's a summation of continuous deployment plus the automation effort automation testing for the sanity work sanity checks on the website or the mobile mobile application so uh, let's go through this so uh, what is SRS BRD I don't need to tell you but uh, on the overview it's the requirement comes to the to the to the team to the development team or the project manager and after this uh, requirement the developers start working and coding on any any framework so for instance right like we'll be creating a continuous testing architecture on c sharp so <coughs> c uh, using c sharp so uh, it would be a dotnet framework so the developers start coding they start checking the uh, one second let me let me get the <coughs> pointer Okay, so the developers uh, start developing the, uh, uh, the software, the piece of software, they start writing the code and then they push it to a repository. So right now um, we'll be using Bitbucket uh, for, for, for the source repository in this architecture. And once the code is in a compilation state, I mean, it's ready to be compiled and pushed to the respective server. Uh, what happens is this is a Jenkins server. So what Jenkins does is Jenkins compiles the code and pushes it to the respective server where the deployment happens. So, for example, let's uh, let's assume that we have two servers where the deployment uh, takes takes place. So the first one is the staging server and the second one is the production server. So what happens is developers develop the code. They push the code to the SVN. Jenkins server compiles the code and pushes it to the respective server the staging and the production as per the requirement so this is the development part part of the continuous testing architecture in which uh, the, the, how the deployments happen so step one would be developers develop the code push it into a repository it may be uh, uh, the svn or uh, right, like we'll be using bitbucket uh, in this uh, this architecture which we are developing and then there is a build server which is we are using Jenkins so uh, Jenkins is an open source server you may read uh, there are a lot of links available over the net of uh, about Jenkins what it does how it was originated so the main purpose of it is to compile the code and and put the compiled code to a respective server and we are having two servers staging and production where the application would work so this is the deployment part now the second part is the uh, second part is the testing how testing is uh, basically integrated into this architecture so what happens uh, is in the journal scenario there are uh, uh, what happens is there are for suppose for example say there is a application in which login and registration plays an important role so what happens is there are uh, multiple developments multiple deployments happening per week for example say there are three uh, developments uh, deployments happening and to check the basic functionalities for example say login and registration every time the build is deployed to the server that that piece of testing sanity checks for example there are 10 15 20 random test cases which have to be uh, not sanity but basically smoke test cases which have to be uh, executed on the the build which is deployed on the server that is a manual effort but what if these smoke tests are automated along with the build so for example the developers 
check in the code it's compiled by the jenkins server it's deployed to the staging server now when it's deployed a tester needs to be uh, needs to be there to, uh, to check the check the smoke test cases which, which takes time there is a communication gap and a lot of thing happens so the build is not successful there so when we say that we are developing a continuous testing architecture the smoke test cases would be developed by the testers so they'll also have their source source repository where they'll be automating the smoke test cases and this if you see this these automation tools would be integrated by the Jen, uh, with the jenkins server and these tools will automatically test those smoke uh, execute those smoke test cases on the respective server so, so in this example we say staging server <coughs> So this is a high level continuous testing architecture uh, which you'll eventually understand when we we'll start developing it. So to, uh, for developing this we have a set of prerequisites. So these are the 10 basic things which are required to complete this architecture. So first of all to uh, so this is a high level thing and let's in the next video, I'll start uh, following these steps. Thank you.